What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Antlers. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. When I first heard that this was directed by Scott Cooper, I had to do a double take. I was like, wait a minute, this is the same Scott Cooper who gave us Hostiles, Crazy Heart, Black Mass, and Out of the Furnace? That same Scott Cooper is venturing into horror? Okay, let's see how he does. And after having seen Antlers, I've come to the conclusion that even though the film has enough fright, in totality, it basically touches on similar themes that Scott previously tackled in his other movies. Only this time, he adds in a folklore creature for good measure. But did I like Antlers? Hmm... I'm leaning more towards it is just as much dull as it is scary. Directed by Scott Cooper and produced by Guillermo del Toro, based on Nick Antasca's short story and scripted by Nick Antasca and Henry Chasen, Antlers is set in an isolated Oregon town where a middle school teacher and her sheriff brother become embroiled with her enigmatic student whose dark secrets lead to terrifying encounters with a legendary ancestral creature who come before them. Starring Kerry Russell, Jesse Plemons, and Jeremy T. Thomas. Scott Cooper loves exploring bleakness and hopelessness in the townsfolk whose better days are behind them. The minute the frames capture a kid playing in an abandoned factory, waiting on his dad to go about a secret business, you know you are in for a story full of desperate people just trying to get by. Antlers is dark and slow and gory. The creature design is interesting to say the least, but it's hardly a xenomorph equivalence, and it's hard to take him seriously when his attack moves are just a one-trick pony. The Native American fable is initially supposed to make it seem as if this is some kind of a scenario where the region is supernaturally pushing back against the settlers, but the script fails to dig deeper. It falls into your usual cliche of any other myth in any horror film that's there solely for the purpose of rationalizing the creature's existence. It comes up just for that, but then barely takes part anywhere else in the story. I do enjoy the siblings dynamic between Carrie and Jesse though. Despite them having to deliver dense dialogues and disjointed scenes, I think the abuse trauma that connects them with the troubled kid is an interesting angle. But again, it's the same problem with the whole Native American thing. The script only uses these aspects as mere tools, rather than them being an integral part. The child actor Jeremy T. Thomas is fantastic. Carrie might be the lead, but Jeremy is the main event. There's always a creepy child in every horror movie, but Jeremy brings so much drama and a sense of tragedy into his performance, and he drives it home every time. So yeah, there's a lot about Antlers that will thrill you, but there's a lot about it too that works against itself. I can understand why Guillermo del Toro involves himself with this, seeing that he's the biggest creature slash monster aficionado. So if you come at Antlers, from his perspective, you will geek out. But if you ask me, Scott Cooper's venture into horror is wobbly at best. 